Good morning, everybody. It's another day. You can see we're just still at the Walmart where we slept last night. Carrie's parked beside me on that side. Patrick's parked on the other side. And Lizzie's out and about. But we're going to get out of here because the sun is shining. It's beautiful. It's going to be about 12 or 13 degrees Celsius today. So Patrick and I are thinking we're going to go back to the Island 22 Park and uh, get these bikes off the back of our RVs and get out there. Okay, so we made it back down here to the Island 22 Park. This guy's about to have some fun. I don't remember exactly what those boats are called. Some type of hover boat or something like that. And then over here, we've got a beautiful bald eagle. Okay, well, I'm out here on the bike. Here's some signs that I missed yesterday in case you want to pause and read about the area. But we've got blue skies. It is beautiful out. Look at those mountains back there. Picture perfect. Not very busy here today. I guess I better catch up with Patrick. <laughs> and yes, we got the flip-flops. Okay, well, you can see whoop, behind Patrick. I just dumped off the bike because my ass is numb. <laughs> but we're gonna continue our little journey here by foot. So we're gonna go up the land, up the land, up the road, up the road. and see if there's, um, I think there's a little bit of crown land or something up the road. So we're gonna go and see what it's, uh, what's going on. So as you can see, the view over here is absolutely beautiful. Now the land I was thinking of is right through these gates, <laughs> but as you can tell, it's, uh, it's a little wild, wild west. So I don't know. Okay, well, <laughs> it's, um, it's something. <laughs> I don't know if it's crown land or I don't know, but yeah, not the place for us. Okay, guys, you can see all the RVs parked way off in the distance. And now we are going, where are we going? Original Joe's. Original Joe's. We're going out to eat at Original Joe's. So hopefully they have some good food. I don't think I've ever been there. But Lizzie says it's good, so if it's not... I hope it's better than Swiss Chalet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you be picking on my Swiss Chalet. <laughs> you gotta break your heart seeing the Swiss Chalet go the Swiss taken Chalet. down there. <laughs> Patrick wants Swiss Chalet, Lizzie doesn't like Swiss Chalet. I love Swiss Chalet, but it's over an hour away. I know, those Volkswagens are nice. I think, what is it, an Atlas? Yeah, Atlas. Sharp looking sure. car. And to rub salt in the wound, there's a closed down Swiss chalet right here. <laughs> oh, well. Good morning, everybody. It is another day. We are just leaving the, uh, actually we slept at the Walmart, but we're leaving Home Depot here because Lizzie wanted to get a few things as she's renovating her bathroom. And now we are on our way down to the... Col Continue for one kilometer. My GPS is always ruining my video footage. Anyways, we're going down to Cultus Lake area and uh, hopefully we can find somewhere down there to sleep for free. <laughs> okay, leaving the Walmart and Home Depot, take two. We came back to get Carrie and... Lizzie, and you can't see, but, uh, oh, over there, yes you can, boom. And Lizzie's friend, Jess. So, the convoy just keeps growing. <laughs> Why do I feel that by the time summer rolls around, there's gonna be 40 of us just zoop, <laughs> putting down the highway? <sighs> Anyways, let's go. It's 
the blind leading the blind out here. One gets lost and we all get lost. <laughs> we just had to turn around on somebody's, uh, somebody's, somebody's farm property because there was nowhere big enough for us to all turn around. Story of our lives. <laughs> just a bunch of lost souls wandering around. No, I just don't exactly know where we're going. I don't know this area well at all. But we'll get there eventually. Okay, now this road looks a little more promising. My goal today is to find a nice little spot down by this river so that I can camp out for the night. Maybe even more than one night. It's beautiful down here. Hopefully we'll find a good spot. Find a, find a good spot. I can't talk today, clearly. Okay, well, you can see we're all just sitting here in this parking lot. I sent Patrick a GPS coordinate, like a pin, to find us. And I guess his GPS didn't want to bring him here because it took him down, like, a logging road on the other side of the river. And now he just texts me saying that um, <laughs> the road's terrible, the semi-truck in front of him, the logging truck is stuck in the mud, so he can't go any further to turn around. So now he's trying to back down the road but he's already been driving down it for about three kilometers. <laughs> I'm sorry, Patrick, it's not my fault. <laughs> so, until then, I guess we wait here. Well, while we kill time here, Precious is living her best life. She's found a stick. <laughs> not a bad place to sit and kill time. Beautiful mountains all around us. Okay, well, we came down that road, but unfortunately this recreation site costs about 20 bucks and I don't really feel like paying 20 bucks today. But while we're here, we will go and see what I don't want to pay for. <laughs> it looks pretty, but this is, this is set up more for tents. Running shoes, no, my flops. Flip flops for the win. Yep, that's uh, quite the sight. <laughs> so we can't stay here tonight because I don't really feel like parking out on the main road. And this area here, like I said, is set up more for tenting. So we're going to get back on the road and find somewhere to call home for the night. Okay, well we made it here. Oh, oh boy, but there is some real big potholes. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're making it. I get all the way in here, look, what's the first thing I see? No overnight camping. Well, too bad. After all that, down that dirt road, I'm not, uh, I'm not leaving. So let's go see what we got here. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. Exactly what I was hoping to find. A spot off in the bush. You can see there's some people over there with tents. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can spend at least a night or two here. Precious over there taking a piss, marking her territory. Okay, Lizzie has arrived. Yes, Presh, I see you. But we've decided to take a little walk over to that part over there because maybe we can get over there and camp closer to the water. Okay, well, I don't know if we'd be able to make it down that hill 
but it does look like there's somewhat of a road here. So there's not too much big gravel to go through. A little bit over there, I guess. I don't know. Let's keep walking and see. All right. Well, we had somewhat of a road, but now it has turned into giant gravel. So I don't know. There's quite a few people back there. But I don't see any very big rigs. The biggest would be that travel trailer, and it's probably being pulled by a 4x4. Four four. Yeah, everything else looks like trucks. Like jeeps and trucks. And home sweet home. I see Carrie with a blue van behind Lizzie, and uh, Lizzie's friend Jess has arrived. So. Let's get settled in, I guess, now that we're not gonna move to the other side. It's a shame. I kinda wanna park down there, but I'm worried that uh, some of those big rocks might get stuck inside my dualies. And that's all I need is a flat tire or a bent rim. Look, lots of people having fun around here, though. Come on, Presh. So people clearly come out here looking for some real fun. Oh, this one over here is just living my best dream. I would love to have one of those Polarises. And I bet you that guy is gonna go down the hill over there and down there because it would be the third one to show up in the last hour. And just like I thought, there goes another one. These people are braver than I am, that's for sure. I'm just worried that those big rocks are going to get stuck in my dualies. And then I'll be really screwed. I don't think BCAA is going to come and help me down there. Like, it's big rock. There's lots of people camped over on that island part. <laughs> uh, friggin' police just showed up. <sighs> telling us we have to move. Apparently, so now I know why everybody parks down on the rocks. Because that's where the crown land is. <laughs> you can't park up here. So here goes nothing. We're going to uh, see if we can make it down. So now I have to somehow manage to get myself out of here. The cop's sitting over there waiting to make sure we move. And yeah, you can't even see where we have to go. Oh boy. Oh God, guys, what have I got myself into now? Look what we're dealing with. But I saw those people come down here with those fifth wheels, so we gotta, oh my goodness. Slow, slow, slow and steady, I guess. Oh, my poor tires. Welcome to my life. House coat and all. Oh. oh well. Maybe now I can uh, go back to bed, I guess. Go on, pressure. Get up in the house. Good morning. It is another day. Not the kind of thing you want to be running over. Ugh. That was one of my fears about coming down here. Is that it's literally, you can see all four of us, but uh, this ground is literally the, the uh, riverbed. If you look at Google Maps, it's all water. So I guess just because it's really early in the spring, it's dry. But you can see there's lots of other campers. Last night we were up there, basically where that car is. 
But as you saw, the police showed up and made us move. So we just came down here. And now I'm gonna be brave and go back out because I'm craving McDonald's breakfast. So it's very early. I think I'm the only one awake. But we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna end the video right here and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Just creeping along at idle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my biggest fear is that I'm gonna blow a tire or something down here and have to call for roadside assistance. They're gonna say, sir, where are you? Well, in the middle of the river. <laughs> uh, oh boy. doesn't look as bad right now during the day. Last night I was a little bit nervous to come down a 